Hi, welcome to this online Spark Place class. My name is Wyatt, and today I'm going to show you how to make your own thermometer with some items you might have at home. Uh, to start off, we're going to go off what you'll need for this class. Uh, you're going to need a straw, a plastic container that's relatively small, a syringe, some food coloring, a bit of rubbing alcohol some polymer clay. It's important to use this over something like Play-Doh because Play-Doh tends to dissolve when it comes in contact with water. And finally, hot and cold water. So to get things started, what we're gonna do is we're going to take our small plastic container and we're gonna fill it up about halfway with rubbing alcohol. So just pour it in. Once it gets about halfway, you can go ahead and stop. Next, take your food coloring and add two drops, one and two. Now you can take one of your straws and just sort of mix that together. It might take a little bit to get this to mix properly. Um, sometimes food coloring doesn't like to mix with rubbing alcohol. But if it looks mostly mixed together, it should be okay. So we'll just give that a good mix and set our straw aside. Next, we're gonna take our syringe here and just fill it up a bit with our rubbing alcohol and food coloring mixture. Next up, we're gonna take our straw which we have here. And we're gonna make some marks equal distant uh, along the straw. So I'm gonna make my marks about a centimeter apart, but as long as they're equal apart from one another, that's what's really important. So I'm just gonna make my mark here and then just go up along the straw the rest of the way. It's okay if it's not perfect, but the closer you get, the more accurate you can get your temperature reading. So very slowly work my way up until we have a whole bunch of marks along the straw. Next, we're gonna take our polymer clay and we're gonna break off a big chunk of it. I recommend having about this much clay. Now it seems like a lot, but we're gonna use all of it, I promise. What you're gonna do next is you're gonna roll it into a snake. Just like so. And then, Take your straw and put it into your alcohol and uh, food coloring mixture and hold it so that it's just about a quarter of an inch from the bottom of your small container here. And just make a mark uh, in your head where that's gonna go. So I held it up and I just used my finger to just gently hold it next to where it's supposed to go. And then I'm just leaving my finger there so that I know where to wrap my clay. So we're just gonna wrap it around like this. And then we're gonna squish it together and just make sure that there is a good connection between our clay and the straw. And to help with that, what you can do is you can make a small volcano shape underneath and on top of the clay. So if we look right here, it sort of slants up against the clay. Here, if I put it in shadow, you might be able to see it. And then on the bottom, it does the same thing. Next, we're gonna take our clay 
and our straw, and we're gonna put it on top of our container filled with rubbing alcohol, and just gently press it down on all sides so that we've got a good seal on the top of this container. We don't want any air to get in or out. And if you're squeezing the container and you can see some rubbing alcohol come up, uh, that's perfect. Just make sure you don't squeeze it too hard or else it'll fly out the top uh, and then you have a really big mess. Next, take your syringe filled with the food coloring alcohol and just gently pour that into your straw. So slowly add it and very slowly, you should see uh, the alcohol has worked its way up the straw and is now sitting about right here. So let me just add a little bit more. Oh. It is very important to make sure that there are no air holes in your clay and your container. Uh, or else this won't work. So let's add a little bit more. All right, so that's sitting at about right here. Now what we can do is we can take this and we can put it into the hot water here. And very quickly, we should see uh, the alcohol raising up the straw. Now it might be really hard to see on the camera here, but I can promise you it's at about right here now. If I take it out and put it into the cold water, then it very quickly starts to go back down the straw. Uh, right now it's actually creeped all the way down back into the container. And if I move it back to the hot water again, then it will work its way back up the straw. And there you have it. You have your own homemade thermometer. Um, try setting it uh, in a sunny place. See what happens to the liquid in the straw then. Uh, put it into your refrigerator and see what happens at that point. Um, try all sorts of things. Just make sure wherever you put it that you have some paper towels around it so that if anything leaks out, at least it falls onto the paper towel and not onto your mom's nice cabinets. Um, thank you for coming to this class and I hope you have a wonderful day.